my heartfelt thanks to my immediate family, but also my university family, tennis family, fly fishing family, community. There's nothing as important as families. My supervisors complain that I have no work ethic. I am not focused on my work, spend too much time on family and social interests, and we just cannot agree on these words, time and deadlines. I do have a work ethic, but it's an Indian work ethic. That's the problem. <laughs> we preach very definitive management philosophies that draw on many different schools of Western philosophy. But can we say conclusively that only our way is acceptable? For over 3,000 years, the Eastern thinkers have developed their own philosophies and management frameworks. Can we really stuff their age-old work traditions into our nifty theories and neat management boxes? To respond to this, I study three Indian communities, the Jain, the Sikh, and the Christian, each strikingly differentiated within society. I visited their homes around the world, observed their social institutions, and evaluated their work forms to understand the possible influences of cultural and religious traditions on management practices in each group. I was surprised by the power of social networks in their economic transactions. Amazingly, deep-seated value systems actually seemed to limit personal ambitions of wealth and material acquisition. So I explored the implication for job design, motivation, and entrepreneurship. Attitudes to work and work organization principles are clearly different across each community, so I investigated further. Each research community is firmly anchored by unique shared identities developed over many centuries of interaction. Given this, I find that if there is an accepted hierarchy and institutional completeness in the group, then they can create considerable economic value through social capital. One of my small communities dominates the worldwide diamond trade through the efficient use of social networks and shared resources and understanding how ethnic networks may be leveraged for competitive advantage can be a significant contribution from my research. Clearly though, unique philosophies influence management practices, how work is done and why work is done in each community, and this has important practical implications. As we network with economies around the world, our management practices cannot be superimposed but may need to be grafted on existing management frameworks. The management black box is half full if we restrict ourselves only to the Western schools of thought. Philosophy means love of wisdom. Let us seek such wisdom wherever it may lie and bring all strong minds together, East and West, to lift the veil on the beauty of alternate work philosophies. Thank you.